Hello and welcome to today's video. This is the battery management system out of my Nissan Leaf battery pack and this is another one I got on eBay. Uh, unfortunately they are different years. Um, mine's a 2013 and I have no idea what year this is but it's earlier. Um, I can definitely tell that because um, if I take the covers off of these guys so that one is mine. Oh, um, I don't know if I got a video of me uh, doing this modification, but um, the uh, red wire is on pin 25 of the microcontroller, which is a transmit line. The yellow wire is on pin 26 of the microcontroller, which is the receive line. And then the black line is just on the convenient ground there at, uh, what is that, uh, capacitor number C691. So that the other two leads are just unconvenient. There's a resistor and it looks like a little uh, capacitor that I've attached them to just to pick up the signals from the micro. Those are the closest ones to the pins. But anyways, um, so there's that one. Uh, the, the other guy here is different. It is fully populated, so it's got the relay, it's got all the isolators in it, it has a different uh, connector, and when you start looking at it, it actually has different chips in it too. Um, they're not the same balancing chips. So they've relayed out the entire board and if you even look at say the uh, little circuits here that get repeated for the actual balancing you can see how all of these guys are all uh, nicely lined up. If we scroll over the same one over here you can see they're all in a different pattern not as nice. So this was obviously an early revision which is interesting because I don't know if they're going to be the same. Um, I, I, what I, my plan was to get another one and I was going to hook up uh, some resistors to all this and hook up a power supply so I could simulate having a bunch of batteries hooked up to it so I could read the protocol and then I could vary the voltage and do stuff and then see what changed on the protocol. I'm not sure if this one actually uses the same protocol. Um, I guess we could find out. Um, so I'm thinking about hooking it up to the uh, battery pack in the uh, the leaf battery pack in the garage, and doing the same thing where I pick up the transmit and receive lines. I got to verify that they're the same lines, and um, actually see if it'll communicate. The interesting thing is, uh, if you look on this one, it's got these two are white connectors these two connectors are identical so if you were to plug it in you could accidentally plug the connector which this is the low voltage connector which does all the current senses and the temperature sensors and everything you could accidentally plug that into the high voltage one and vice versa you could accidentally plug the high voltage in here so they fixed that by changing even though they're different colors um, they're the same connector but their keys are different I, I'm going to see if I can I can do this. I don't know how well this is going to work, but Let's see if it'll focus here. You can see uh, this has got a large space and then a small space, small space, large key, and then this one's got like a notch cut out in the first one. So they, the key, they're keyed completely differently. And I understand why they did that. They um, decided that they wanted to make it impossible for you to plug the wrong connector into the other one. But it also means that the wiring harness that's in my truck right now will not plug into this old one. Um, I did manage to pull up the pinouts of both. So, and again, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. This is a uh, 2014 pack, and this is a 2010 pack. Mine's a 2013, and I already know it's different because this connector does not match the one that's on my pack, that, that pinout. That's why I had to go, there's a video of me figuring out what the pinout is, because it does not match. Um, also, I noticed a typo on this. This should actually be pin 17 instead of 7. <laughs> it's 17. Um, there is nothing connected to pin 7. So that was my first thing. I was like, oh no, they are different, but it, it's actually the same. So I went through there and, and checked, and if you if you line everything up, um, you can see the, the pinout is starts at 33, 50, 34. Actually, if I get it to focus, there you go. 
3350, 3451, 35, and it's 3350, 34, 51, 35. So it looks like the pinouts are identical. You know, 8776, 8776. If we come down here, 89 starts at 89, um, ends at you know 121, 102, 121, 102. And down here, uh, 143, 135, 143, 135. So it looks like the pinouts are 100% identical. So um, I even checked all the other uh, stuff that goes to it as well, like the canvas is on uh, pins 1 and 13. And if you go over here, they're on, uh, where is it at? Uh, where's canvas come out of this one? There it is. Pin 1 and 13. And the little... Uh, Interconnect switches are on 8 and 21, and 8 and 21. Current sense is on 10, 9, and 7. 10, 9, and 17, that, that should actually be a 17 because there's no pin there. And um, looks like they added a couple extra grounds, but that's it. It looks like it's identical. I don't see anything that's different. Power is on uh, pins 12, 6, and 5. And that's down here, 12, 6, and 5. So. All the temperature sensors are identical, 25, 29, 25, 29, 30, uh, 27, oops, you can't even see that, 25, 29, uh, they skip, they go 30, 26, which is the next one is 30, 26, then it's 27, 31, 27, 31, 32, 28, 32, 28. So it looks like the pinouts are identical between these two, hopefully. Um, so all we got to deal with is the um, connector keys being different. So, uh, I think I'm going to take a soldering iron to it and uh, remove the keys. And then I'll be able to plug the, uh, the, my existing pack into this battery balancer. Um, I'll get my um, uh, uh, solder some connectors on there, or the same connector, so I can hook it up. And then we can uh, sniff the data coming out of the microcontroller, see if it's identical. Because I'd rather not mess, with, mess up my... Uh, my I, I want to modify this one, and then if that looks like that's promising to do all the experimentation. If it doesn't work, then I just blew up one. I got this for 50 bucks. Uh, it also came with the uh, power distribution system here. So I got the two uh, big uh, contactors, um, the pre-charge contactor, and on the bottom of it is the pre-charge resistor, the really big pre-charge resistor. This thing weighs a ton. Um, there's a lot of copper in it. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> these uh, these contactors are different. The ones that are in my pack have the terminals on the top of both of them, and even this, the precharge resistor or precharge uh, contactor, is wrong. Precharge relay is wrong as well. It's it's different. Uh, I got a current sensor. But this current sensor is different than the one that's in the pack, too. So I don't. They decided to re redo the entire thing. I also got a uh, wiring harness with it, but it um, isn't the complete wiring harness. Uh, I've got looks like the intermediary wire harness that goes from. I've got these two connectors and this one that plugs into the. This is the CAN connector, which actually might be useful. Um, then I've got. Uh, these two which go out to the uh, battery stacks but uh, they're the intermediate connector that comes down here to some other ones and then I ended up with um, the rest of it is actually the um, the um, it's only got two pins in it it's the uh, heat heaters battery heaters so that's not as useful but anyways we'll um, see what we can do but uh, yeah, I think that's my plan, is I'm going to... So what I wanted to do originally, I was hoping that this had the complete wiring harness, because it's hard to tell from the pictures, it looks like the, everything was there. But I was going to hook up a bunch of um, uh, resistors and then put it across the power supply to generate all the vol little voltages that this needs to see, so then I could vary it, and then see what the protocol varies and everything like that. Specifically, I want to take one cell and lower it below everybody else so I can see what the balancer does and it's like oh does everybody start balancing or did it what what commands get sent go on uh, go back and forth uh, my attempts to get information out of uh, Renesis who currently owns NEC semiconductor who made these chips balancing chips uh, didn't get anywhere they won't release any information 
to me. They, um, they won't even acknowledge that they make it, even though I know they made it, because these are, they, they, they actually say, um, NEC on them. Oh, focus. Can't get it to focus. There it goes. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it actually says NEC on it, right? NEC. I know they made them, but, um, they disavow all knowledge of ever, um, making this chip, so, um, yeah, we'll have to, uh, have to dig into that, but hopefully the, 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 uh, the one thing that's, um, these are listed as D15110, and the ones on here are D15120, so hopefully they are, um, compatible or somewhat similar, that, that's one of the things I want to do is hook this up to the pack, uh, do exactly what I, uh, what I did before, record a startup with the Logic um, Protocol Analyzer, and then make sure that they're the same. And if they're the same, then uh, if the startup, everything's good, and the values come back the same, or, or reasonably reasonable, reasonably same, then I think we're in good shape, and uh, we'll be able to do it. But I think I'm going to cut the, uh, either with a soldering iron or exacto knife, and cut the keys out of these two connectors. The other ones are identical, so I can plug into these guys. I just can't plug the harness into these two connectors because they changed them on a later revision. But uh, yeah, gonna go see what uh, happens. Oh, and the main difference between them is uh, this is to sense the entire battery pack voltage. So if I flip that upside down, it's got the other chip in there. And um, that little relay plugs it in or unplugs it from the pack. and these are the little resistors where they've tapped it off to get the measurement and then they have um, another three uh, optocouplers to talk to it because you gotta have the transmit the intermediate to go between when you pull the um, the, uh, m the middle connector out right and then talk to the uh, the other side to get the receive and they got all that in there just to talk to that one chip on the back here that's measuring the stack voltage and the bean counters probably said, you know what, we could save some money if we just took all the existing ones and just added up all their voltages. And then we wouldn't need to uh, populate that extra section anymore. And this would probably be much higher resolution than using the one chip to measure the stack. Total stack voltage, they just add everything up. So, yeah. <clears throat> They also went with the plastic backer, whereas the well, other one had a metal backing backer. Um, but other than that, they're they are the same yet different, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to try to make this one work. If it doesn't work, eh, it's just 50 bucks. Not that big a deal. Some time, and uh, other people can learn from this experience. Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.